Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the settlement of a foundation using the data from the plate load test okay so plate load test this is one of the most important tests in geotechnical engineering which is used for the foundation design and the soil assessment properties okay so this plate load test this is used to determine the ultimate bearing capacity of soil and the likely settlement of the foundation under a given load i have been given a question which says that the following data was obtained from a plate load test carried out on a 60 centimeter square test plate at a depth of two meter below the ground surface on a sandy soil which extends up to a large depth we have to determine the settlement of a foundation four meter cross four meter carrying a load of 2000 kilonewton and this foundation is located at a depth of four meter below the ground surface you can see the data from the plate load test we have load intensity values in kilopascal and the corresponding settlement for each load intensity in mm okay so water table is located at a large depth from the ground surface first we will see what we have been given in the question so length of the footing as well as the width of the footing this is both uh, equal to four meters since this is a square footing load on footing this is 2000 kilonewton it means the load intensity on our foundation okay this will be 2000 divided by 4 cross 4 which is equal to 125 kilopascal so this is the load intensity on the foundation the first thing which we will do is that we will plot the load settlement curve in excel okay and from this load settlement curve we will find the settlement uh, of this test plate corresponding to this load intensity that is uh, load intensity of 125 kilopascal after getting the settlement of the test plate uh, corresponding to load intensity of 125 kilopascal we will then find the settlement of our foundation okay so let's move to the excel to uh, draw the load uh, settlement curve so in excel you will first draw two columns the first one is the load intensity in kilopascal and second column is the settlement values in mm after that you will uh, select these two columns go to the insert tab and then click on the charts and select the chart that is scatter with smooth lines and markers delete the chart title and increase the size of the chart okay and after that uh, select the vertical axis okay double click on it and change the values in the reverse order after that click on the tick marks make the tick marks for major type as cross and minor type as inside and change the color of the axis change the color from gray to black and increase the weight of the tick marks to one point okay this will helps us to see the values more clearly similarly for the horizontal axis change the color from gray to black and increase the weight to one point and select the axis option and in the axis option make the tick marks visible for the major type as cross and minor type as inside okay so this is our load settlement curve click on this graph click on this plus button and also click on the axis title to show the axis titles on the chart so for a vertical axis you will write the settlement in mm okay and for the horizontal axis you will write the load intensity in kilopascal so this is our a load settlement curve okay uh, from this load settlement curve you will get the settlement of the foundation corresponding to a particular load intensity so for our foundation we have a load intensity of 125 kilopascal so we will find the settlement corresponding to load intensity of 125 kilopascal so this is here 100 after that 110 120 so 125 kilopascal lies here so from this point you will draw a vertical line okay so from 125 kilopascal draw a vertical line this will cut the 
load settlement curve at some point from that point you will draw a another horizontal line and this will cut the vertical axis at some point which is your corresponding settlement so you can see this horizontal line cuts the vertical axis at a value of 6 mm okay because the minor values on the vertical axis are 1 mm so after 5 mm this is 6 mm so it means that for our load intensity of 125 kilopascal the settlement of the test plate will be 6 mm this is the settlement of a test plate not the foundation so we got uh, for this load intensity of 125 kilopascal the settlement of the test plate will be 6 mm after finding this settlement for the test plate we can now find the settlement of the foundation so let's find the settlement of our foundation so after plotting the load settlement curve in excel we got the settlement of the test plate co corresponding to load intensity of 125 kilopascal equal to 6 mm so the settlement of the test plate corresponding to a load intensity of 125 kilopascal is 6 mm now the settlement of the foundation this is given by this formula in sandy soil that is sf which is the settlement of the foundation equal to sp into bf into bp plus 0 0.3 divided by bp into bf plus 0 0.3 whole square sp is the settlement of the test plate bf is the width of the foundation and bp is the width of the test plate so settlement of the test plate is uh, equal to 6 mm for the load intensity of 125 kilopascal width of foundation this is 4 meter and width of the test plate this is 60 centimeter or 0 0.6 meter okay so this gives me the settlement of the foundation equal to 11.68 mm okay so this is the settlement of the foundation if it was located at the ground surface since our settle uh, since our foundation this is located at a depth of four meter below the ground surface so we have to take the effect of embankment okay so for this we have to find the depth of embankment this depth of embankment this is equal to the depth of the foundation measured from the level at which the test plate is placed okay so our foundation this is located at a depth of four meter from the ground surface and test plate uh, uh, this plate load test this was performed at a depth of two meter from the ground surface so depth of embankment this will be equal to four minus two which is two meter okay so we are measuring this depth uh, from the level at which the test plate uh, is placed or at which the plate test was performed so depth of embankment this is equal to two meter now to find the depth correction factor for this uh, foundation we can use two methods first one is the uh, fox method so we can use the fox depth factor to find the actual settlement of the foundation for this this uh, chart of fox uh, is given okay in which on the horizontal axis we have a depth factor and on the vertical axis we have this uh, value this uh, constant which is given by d divided by under root of l into b and these are the curves which are the ratio of l by b so for d divided by under root of lb this uh, depth of embankment this is 2 meter length and breadth of foundation this is 4 4 meter so we got the value of this constant as 0 0.5 and the value of l by b this is equal to 1 so from this fox chart we can find the depth correction factor okay so for the d divided by under root of lb value equal to 0 0.5 and for the curve of uh, curve of l by b equal to 1 we will get the depth correction factor equal to 0 0.85 from this chart okay here is the depth correction factor of 0 0.85 so actual settlement of the foundation this will be the settlement of the foundation at the ground surface which is 11.68 mm multiplied by the depth correction factor which is 0 0.85 so this gives me the actual settlement of this foundation corresponding to the load intensity of 125 kilopascal as 9.93 mm so this is the uh, 
uh, actual settlement of the foundation using the Fox depth correction factor. Now we have one more method to find the depth correction factor, which is the Rama, Swami, Rao and Prakash recommendation. So for this depth correction factor, this is given by this formula, which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus D by B uh, whole 0 0.5. Okay. So this D, this is the depth of embedment and B is the width of the foundation. So putting values of D and B, this is 1 divided by 1 plus 2 by 4 raised power 0 0.5, which is equal to 0 0.82. This is the depth correction factor according to this Rama, Swami, Rao and Prakash's uh, formula of depth correction factor. So actual settlement of the foundation, this will be 0 0.82 multiplied by 11.68 mm, which is equal to 9.58 mm. This is the actual settlement of foundation. So by these two methods, you can find the actual settlement of the foundation so this is how you can find the settlement of the foundation from the uh, plate load test data i hope this solution video was clear effective and you definitely learned something new from this video if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned